Setting up. Are you ready to go? Yeah? You sure? I'm very sure. Can I leave you alone for... You got it? Yeah, I you got, got it? it. I got it they give you a big round of applause. You start? Would be nice. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, good afternoon. In the, in the meanwhile, I think it's already um, uh, like 12 o'clock. Um, I'm here to present Avado, which is uh, sort of like the extension of, of what DapNote is doing. Um, this is an example of the box. Uh, we, so we are providing basically DapNote in a box. Um, so we, we are actually the first uh, hardware provider of, of uh, DAP nodes. We are participating together with them. Um, and we are sort of trying to make it even more convenient for people to run an own node at home. Uh, so we sort of have chosen some hardware. So we've checked uh, different setups. And we also, on the website, you, you can see that we provide different uh, setups on, like in different price points, whatever you want to spend on it or what your uh, needs are uh, to run for it. Uh, it comes pre-installed with DapNote, obviously. Um, and we are trying also to give support to get it set up. So if people just want to start and run it, uh, that they don't have to go to the open source project that's as such and ask the same uh, setup questions over and over again. So we're trying to offload a little bit their, um, <clears throat> their support. Uh, well, one of the benefits for us also to give that support is that we have standardized hardware. So like setting up drivers or incompatible uh, Wi-Fi cards and so forth, that's a thing of the past. And often we see that these are typical questions that are uh, asked in the like in DAP node channels uh, so our mission is yeah to get more of these full nodes actually in people's houses um, so because there's an option so if you download the DAP node software you still have to either buy your software where yourself uh, or people sometimes are tended, tempted to uh, to hire an, an AWS instance, for example, or um, or another like cloud hosted box and install DapNote over there. But obviously, it doesn't really make sense because then you're not decentralizing; you're just putting it in in the cloud. Uh, so we really want to support the decentralization by enabling people to run it uh, at their home. So what's in the box? Uh, so currently we have three models. The model that you see over here, uh, it has an Intel i5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, a very beefy uh, SSD storage, that's one terabyte, and it also has a Wi-Fi access point. Um, of course, it comes with uh, the DAP node pre-installed. And so the whole idea is that once you unbox uh, the box and you just plug it into the power, you just plug it into your router and it just boots up, uh, and like two or three minutes later, you see an access point popping up, which you can connect to, then you can change the Wi-Fi passwords uh, of your box. And while you're doing that, it's already synchronizing the chain. And with this uh, setup, it's, uh, it has a parity uh, ETH chain by default installed. It takes somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes to sync the full chain, so it's very, um, very quick. What it also comes with uh, is an NFT token. So we provide an Ether card, like this plastic card with a pub key and a scratch off service with a, with a private key, uh, which contains an NFT token, which is issued by the DapNode Association as sort of a guarantee of authenticity of the software that's on it. Um, but we also use it for the guarantee, so the guarantee on the hardware itself, so we have like a two-year guarantee um, on the hardware, and that's what uh, the NFT token is for at this time. Uh, currently, it's uh, toward, uh, targeted towards three main uh, groups of people. So first of all, our developers. So I'm a, like an Ethereum developer myself. Uh, so for me, it's very cumbersome to have like in, uh, a chain running on my computer because it takes way too much disk space and so forth. So I can just offload it to that device. Uh, also, I travel a lot. So if I'm in a plane and I come into a, like a public Wi-Fi network, it's sometimes difficult to get synced or it's like overloads network and whatnot. Uh, so that's another benefit, so I can just dial in because it comes, uh, uh, as people from DapNote already explained, with a VPN connection, so I can just remotely dial into it um, and just get started. So if, if I'm here, I can just now dial in through the VPN in my box at home and I have like a synchronized Ethereum chain, I have an IPFS uh, server at my availability uh, and so forth. So that's sort of the first target group, the developers. Uh, second target target group are really like the early adopters of decentralization. If you just say like, I really feel that, for example, if your way of working is a bad thing, so and I want to support a network, you can just get a box in your home uh, and run your own uh, e-chain just to support the network. Uh, or if you're concerned about privacy, uh, so you can 
so once you're connected to either the, the Wi-Fi access point or to the VPN, uh, automatically all the traffic is routed through a host name that, that points to your, um, your Ethereum node. Uh, so that means all transactions that you do through MetaMask or even with uh, my crypto and so forth, you can just do it from your local node. So you, you're never disclosing your IP address to someone else uh, where you're uh, doing your transactions from. Uh, third and, and currently last group that we're targeting are just community supporters. So people that don't really have like the technical skills uh, to set all that software up, but they say, yeah, I just want to support my network uh, or the project I'm working with. Uh, maybe they have, they have downloadable software that they have that you can install, and it's very easy using the, the package manager uh, to have it uh, installed and just like people who support uh, that specific community uh, can use it. So and interestingly enough, uh, what happens if you have a DAP node at home, so we install the box and you have like three aspects. So the, the first aspect is the, the network and the bandwidth. So your internet connection is mostly paid for, uh, so you, you have it at your availability. Now the DAP node opens the possibilities to sort of sub-rent a part of your network in a later stage. So if the, the network connectivity, uh, the fact that you're 24 seven available also opens a lot of possibilities if you would like to participate in a later stage in proof of stake networks, for example, or uh, like state channel uh, stuff, then it's very important to be uh, 24 seven available. And you have, of course, the disk space available. Uh, so there are like networks we are talking to right now, for example, LivePeer, they support a system where you can sort of relay data. So you need to store that data temporarily so you can sort of gain uh, an income through selling or sub-renting sub your <coughs> bandwidth uh, in your disk space. So any of these combinations offers uh, enormous opportunities to, uh, uh, to do stuff together. Um, yeah, so these are the things I uh, already talked about. Um, it's also possible to run multiple networks, which so is not limited to Ethereum alone. You can install Bitcoin, Monero, uh, Demons, and so forth. Um, and so the, the whole concept of, of any of these combinations of the three aspects, the bandwidth, uh, the disk space, and the, the uh, availability, is what we call the smart mining. So you can sort of contribute and potentially earn uh, crypto running software. So it's not a reality right now, but it it's, uh, has the potential to do it. Uh, so to come back to, uh, to Gurley, so we had a good presentation of how to roll your own packages. And as a contribution to the, to the Gurley network, uh, we took and uh, used the, the Dapnote SDK, which is really super easy to, uh, to work with. So I can really recommend it if you want to uh, try it out uh, to build your own package. And so we took the existing Gurley get package, which was already published by the Dapnote uh, Association. Um, and we reconfigured it, so we, we sort of extended it with a small web server inside of the package, which allows you to configure your Gurley uh, client as a validator. So I myself, I, I participated or I uh, contributed to the network by saying, okay, I want to be a validator. So I had my, uh, my Avado box running anyway. So uh, we extended the package, so you can upload your key file there, you can set your passwords, and then put like in all the other configuration parameters you need to do the, like the publishing of the stats and so forth. Um, so it's very easy to do. So it means you don't really have to dive into the, the DAPNode package itself and roll your own and put your, uh, like sort of hard code your own configuration parameters. So that's basically what we added uh, to the package. So it's also available. We, uh, we also publish it through an, uh, an ENS link. Um, but unfortunately, I wanted to give a demo here, but I didn't manage to get it set up because you need to wire it uh, to, uh, to the LAN so through a cable, so, and there's no cable available here, so it just, uh, you'll have to do it with a screenshot for now, unfortunately. Um, so that's about uh, it, what I, what I wanted to say. So if you want to check it out, uh, here's the website. So if you want some more info, if you want to get one, uh, feel free. Thank you. Thank you. Question, ah. Uh. How much? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much? <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing is, so we decided to be um, sort of consistent with the way that we, um, that we want to work. We only accept DAI in our uh, web shop, and I'll quickly open the shop so I can show it to you, because I don't know the prices by heart. So if you go here, you have to select your country for the, the VAT calculation. So these are the three models that we have. So the, the, the box that you see here, so with the one terabyte drive, and that's like the main factor that drives the price. So it sells at uh, 1,099 die. 
which uh, comes with an, uh, an Intel i5 and 16 gigs of RAM. Then we have the Avado i3, which comes with an Intel i3 and 8 gigabytes of RAM and then a 512 gig SSD drive, is 735. And then like the smallest one, like which we call the community supporter uh, Avado node. So it's, it's able to synchronize the chain and so forth, but it's not really possible or feasible to, to run like two or three or four chains in, in parallel. Uh, but if you just want to run one chain and maybe so one like proof of stake validator or something, or, or maybe a, a girly uh, validator, uh, you could go with that one, which is 365. It has four gigabytes of RAM and a 265 gigabytes um, SSD storage. So is that an answer to your question? Not a question in the room. Going once, going twice. Sold. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man.